Hi, I'm Janet Petro, the director of the Kennedy Space Center. It's always an honor to share about the incredible work that is being carried out at America's Spaceport as we continue to enable safe, secure access to space. This year, Kennedy Space Center celebrates our 60th anniversary, and as we look back over the six decades of science, technology, and exploration, we are reminded that we stand on the shoulders of giants, the pioneers who were charged with sending a man to the moon and returning him safely to Earth didn't just pave the way for the work we are doing today. They blazed a path to the deep recesses of our universe, and the beacon of that achievement calls us to even greater endeavors. 2021 saw some incredible milestones as we supported continued science and human presence on the International Space Station through three commercial resupply missions, as well as two operational crew rotation missions through our commercial crew program. While this was taking place close to our planet, NASA's Launch Services Program supported important science missions like DART, Lucy, and ICSPE, which will help us to unlock the mysteries of our universe. Through increased commercial partnerships, we are unlocking access to space and pushing the boundaries of discovery ensuring our nation remains at the forefront of space exploration. Perhaps the most exciting milestone for us this year is the maiden flight of Space Launch System and Orion on Artemis I. Last year, we had shared that the final piece of flight hardware, the SLS core stage, had arrived at KSC. Since then, the teams at Kennedy have been working tirelessly to assemble, integrate, and test SLS and Orion as Artemis I prepares to take this historic trip. In March, Orion and SLS crawled 4.3 miles from the Vehicle Assembly Building to the historic Launch Pad 39B for the wet dress rehearsal, the final critical test before launch. And after liftoff, Artemis I will travel a total of 1.3 million miles around the moon and back, gathering critical data and setting the stage for the crewed flights of Artemis II and III. Flight hardware for these subsequent flights is staged at Kennedy, and Deep Space Logistics teams continue to develop plans for the Gateway Outpost, a critical component of the Artemis Lunar Exploration Program. Through Artemis, we will see the first woman and the first person of color on the lunar surface. We will develop and implement the science necessary for long-term human presence in deep space and we will utilize our knowledge to prepare for future human missions to Mars. As we face the frontier of space, this program will cement U.S. leadership in space exploration while engaging international partners aspiring to contribute to a sustained presence on and around the moon and ultimately Mars for years to come. Strong bipartisan support in Washington and the President's robust budget request, the largest science funding request in NASA's history, reflect confidence in our agency and our mission. The President's request also allows NASA to continue advancing science as we strive to understand Earth's climate, conduct groundbreaking research on orbit, and invest in robotic missions that pave the way for off-Earth human exploration. While we are undertaking these ventures beyond our atmosphere, Kennedy is also postured to meet the demands of the future here on Earth. As early as the 1970s, Kennedy Space Center was called America's Spaceport. And as I look around the bustling operations we support every day, I know we are living up to that name. We are creating partnerships that enable sustainability and enhance usability at our spaceport. Kennedy has more than 90 private sector partners and nearly 250 partnership agreements in place. And we partner with government and industry to provide space launch services and hosted government payload arrangements to ensure the United States has reliable, resilient, and diverse access to space. We are embracing increased efficiencies. By modernizing our space launch infrastructure, we are enhancing operational efficiency increasing capacity, and reducing launch costs. Organizations are able to unify manufacturing, integration, testing, and launch services to a single center, and Kennedy is employing a master plan that allows for increased capabilities for existing and future commercial partners. SpaceX recently submitted their Notice of Availability response to develop 
Launch Complex 49 to support launch and landing operations for its Starship Super Heavy vehicle. And while we're still in the very early stages of analysis, this type of growth indicates the robust capabilities of our spaceport. We are impacting our surrounding communities, generating upwards of $5.2 billion through the employment of more than 12,000 workers. Overall, Kennedy supports more than 27,000 jobs in the Central Florida area. Partnering with the community means we are strengthening the economy, enabling area growth, and ensuring the health of the spaceport and Space Coast for generations to come. And we are doing all of this while focusing on environmentally responsible practices and sustainability as we prioritize the long-term health of the land and wildlife we are responsible for stewarding. This year marks 60 years of Kennedy Space Center leading the way from Mercury to Mars, and we are more committed than ever to honoring the legacy of our history, even as we are hard at work writing the next chapter, a chapter that is made possible by you. This is a year of celebration, a year of science, and a year of discovery, and you're invited to celebrate alongside us. Print out a poster and proudly display it, and join us virtually for one of our launches. Thank you.